Hello everybody, I'm back again to do a, a word problem that is modeled by quadratic equation. The base of a triangle is two feet shorter than four times the height. What are the base and height of the triangle if the area of the triangle is 120 feet, uh, 20 square feet? So we need to write down what do we have. We have a triangle, so here's our triangle. What also, what do we have? We have the area, they've given us the area to be 120 square feet. So we have the area. We do not have the base and we do not have the height. However, we have the base in terms of the height. In terms of the height. So the height, we're gonna, if we call it X, X would be your height. And this one, the base, the base is here, and that is two feet shorter than four times the height. Two feet shorter, which means two feet less. So two feet less than four times the height. What is the height? I just called it X. So this is the height, and this is your base. So I have one in terms of the other. They're both in terms of X. So how do I find the, the height and the base? We have to use the, since we have the area of the triangle, we have to use the area of a triangle formula. formula. The area is one half base times height. Okay, so <clears throat> the area is 120 equal to one half, the base is four X minus two, that's your base. The height is x times x. So here's my equation. What I need to do is I need to solve it. You notice that you have a two here. You can, if you, mul if you want to, multiply by two on both sides and you get rid of the fraction. However, if you take a look here, I have four and I have two. If I distribute the one half, the four divides by the two and the two divide by two, so you get rid of the fraction. So that, let's go ahead and do that. You have 120 equal to, distribute this, what do you have? Four divided by two is two X minus two divided by two is one times X. So this way we got rid of the fraction. Now we need to go ahead and solve this. We have parentheses, we need to clear the parentheses. We need to use a distributive property. Two X times X gives us two X squared minus one times x is minus x. Now, this is a quadratic equation. We need one side to be equal to zero, so I need to subtract 120 on both sides. Okay, so now this side becomes zero equal to two x squared minus x minus 120. You can, if you want to put the zero here, that's fine. Looking at it, you can try to factor it, but this is a little bit large and this is not one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and use the quadratic uh, formula. What, what do I have? I have A is equal to 2, B is negative 1 half, and C is negative 120. Remember the formula is X equal negative B plus or minus square root of B squared minus 4AC over 2A. So negative b, b is negative one plus or minus square root of b square. So it's negative one square minus four times a is two times c is negative 20, 120 over two times a, which is two. So let's simplify this. Negative times a negative, that gives me positive one plus or minus. You're gonna to have to use a calculator here in a bit. Negative one square is one. And so negative one square is one. You have negative times a negative. That's gonna be give me a positive. Then you have four times two times 120. So go ahead, bring your calculator. Four times two, eight, eight times 120. That's gonna give me 960. And you can check it with your calculator. Two times two is four. So that's going to be 1 plus or minus square root of 960 plus 1, 961 over 4. You can use your calculator. That's going to give the square root of 961 is 31 over 4. So again, I have two answers. X is 1 plus 31 over 4. 
and 1 minus 31 over 4. So that's going to give me 31 plus 1, that's 32 over 4, which is 8. And I'm looking at it, this is not a possibility, it's going to give me a negative answer. Negative 31 plus 1 is negative 30 over 4. It's not possible. We cannot have the height equal to a negative number. Okay, so the only possible case is 8. The unit is in feet, so I have 8 feet. What does that mean? Now, if you recall, x is the height. So the height is 8 feet. Now, let's go ahead and solve for the, uh, for the base. What is the base? We already have it here for x minus 2. So the base is... 4 times x, x we just found it to be 8, 8 minus 2, which is 32 minus 2, that's equal to 30. So the base is 30 feet, and this is your answer. If you have any questions, please write it down in the comment below. Um, I hope you get a chance to subscribe for the channel. Have a good day, everybody. See you next video. Bye-bye.